One of the nice things that have been added uh, to Curator programmatically is the fact that the whole system has most of the things available via RESTful API. So you can write programs that interact, that puts data or gets data from Curator programmatically. Uh, so to access the actual uh, RESTful API, you can actually uh, try it by just going into the, uh, the the same URL that you go to the console, but you put slash API doc, as I'm showing in here. So once you're there, and this is the latest version of it, you can do things like, uh, for example, I'm going to go into uh, play with the references. Notice that you have, you know, QVM data, scanner data, there's uh, uh, offenses data, system data, all sort of uh, data available. But I'm going to just show an example, a quick example in these short videos about uh, uh, playing with uh, reference sets. So let me actually uh, go back to the uh, Curator console and actually go into the admin tab. And I'm going to look at some of the reference sets that are in there. So in here, where are the reference sets here? Reference set management. And I can actually man manually, you know, play along with here. So in this particular one, we have asset reconciliation IPB blacklist. And we have in here, if I double click on it, I have uh, three entries. And I can manually add one. Uh, for example, I can add, uh, say, uh, 10 dot, uh, 100 dot, one dot, uh, 75 and I can add that one. And if I go back here, I refresh the, the screen, I'll see now four items. Now, let's see that from the actual RESTful API. So I go back here to the RESTful API and uh, in here on the reference sets, I can actually get all the actual reference sets available listed. And the name that we gave, th that we were playing with before, actually let me go back to it, I think it was something like uh, Asset Reconciliation IPv4. It was this one. So now that I know the actual name of it, I can just put it in here and, and notice that it tells me that this uh, parameter is actually required. And it tells me what the return codes are and I can actually try that out. And here we get the same data that we got uh, visually, we get it now programmatically, and the one that we added uh, last was actually this one in particular. Again, great way of writing programs with TDI, which actually comes with the uh, uh, directory integrator that comes with uh, the Curator license to programmatically get data or put data into Curator. This is great for working with reference sets. Uh, where you have, for example, uh, when, when an, uh, a particular user leaves the organization from the identity management, you can actually add that username into a reference set that watch for any attempt for uh, logging in with that user ID. When you have a user ID that is about to leave the organization, you can actually programmatically from identity management system, you can uh, use TDI to p create a list of people that are about to leave. And then you can have rules that monitor the type of FTP traffic, number of uploads, downloads, data, uh, just to make sure that they are not uh, leaving the organization with some data. Again, some examples of this great capability of having almost the entire system available via the RESTful API.